Hi everyone, The Mature Simmer here. Welcome to PGA Tour 2K23. So this is the first round of the 3M Open that I'm going to be focusing on today. I like to let people know who might be joining exactly what I'm trying to do here. So I'm working along to get to the point where I can play at master level difficulty, which is what I need to do to play within TGC Tours competitively which is a series that runs online that uses this game as its base. Part of what I'm also doing is working to get legendary fittings on all my clubs so that I can maximize my abilities to do well within the game. So I'm working through that as well, playing full rounds as much as possible or full events. So that is what we're looking at here. I'm starting to get close to the end of my first season on the PGA Tour, the first year, and then obviously we'll be moving into the second year and continuing on. So let's get going. All right, it looks like they're going to put Colin Morikawa as our arrival this time. 2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the 3M Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Delighted to have 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey, and it's a good morning to Henny Koyak, who's out on the course following our featured group. Hi, Luke. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you the action from the golf course for this week's featured group. Now, there is a sense of maybe fear, heightened competition this week, as this player has said that they're starting up a rivalry with their playing partner. So it looks like they're trying to beat Colin Morikawa this week. That's ambitious. Seems like a friendly duel from the outside, but could create some extra sparks today. <laughs> I almost just have to laugh. Someone saying they're going to beat Colin Morikawa. Does that even happen these days? He's one of the most consistent players on tour. I don't know that he's beatable. Well, he's been accused of having a balky putter occasionally, but you're right. Iron players good as Tiger Woods in his prime. Uh, the short game's irresistible, but I think the most impressive thing about young Colin is his mindset. He's got a 40-year-old mind on a 20-year-old body. No wonder he's winning at a decent rate of knots. All right. So the first time through, I tend to let the announcers chat so that we can hear uh, the most information and so forth and just enjoy the parts of the game and the commentary that they provide. Other rounds, I'll tend to just kind of play through and move forward. And let's see what he can do here today. All right, that might work out okay. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. All right, so I'm going to pull this back a bit gonna spin this some so maybe I won't pull it back too well that's gonna move me two yards plus I'll go back a yard yeah let's let's try that see how that works with the mm, more thing. slow plus a swing to that Has side on the green so the that flies spot. over a lot more Start than I was expecting. Pretty straight swing, but did not move it enough. Hmm. Kind of felt that as I was lining it up. Looked like they hinged in that stroke. But I wasn't sure. Good putters will make these. Right on five feet. This for par. All right. That's a rock solid par right there. It's currently time for eighth. So I am happy that said, we're Rich back TBC on kind of American courses. Course, but ball in play is imperative if you want to make the birdies. Here at the second, water and bunkers come into play. This is a tee shot that I believe must be challenged. You must take driver out to hit it over that bunker down the right-hand side to leave yourself with as short a second shot as you can possibly get. This green can cause all kinds of problems as it pitches from left to right down towards the water. It's a birdie opportunity if you're bold enough to take on the tee shot. All right, well, I don't have a huge long distance, so I cannot carry that bunker, but I can certainly give it the best ride I can. All right, 
Nice result there. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot on the second. All right. So, it's going to move over probably about that much. Now I can see what it said. It is kind of pitching over that direction. Going with the seven. All right, a better swing path, but still slow, so that moves me over again. Goodness, how far is it going to go? Oh, not hard enough. Oh, got lucky. All right. Nice. And it's worth taking another look at that one. What an amazing part from Usually I don't let these go, but we'll see if it what it looks like. But that was uh yeah, that almost slowed enough that it just did not make it. So I kind of got lucky there. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. How close was that to going in the hole? Great that was shot. really good. All right. Which the third hole up by one. Par five for when people get to play the course casually, but in this PGA Tour event, it's a strong par four. It is just over 480 yards, and the line off the tee is at those two fairway bunkers through the fairway. From there, you'll have an open look to this green that moves from back to front. It's truly a strong par four. All right, so yeah, what I was saying is I played the two Scottish courses in the last two events. Did okay, but they are so challenging, especially with the really uh, kind of undulating fairways that exist there. So it's just nice not having to look at the lie on the fairway. You kind of know it's relatively flat. Few players in the history of the game have had a bigger impact so early in their career than Colin Morikara, Rich. Uh, some comparisons go as close to Tiger Woods. As they should be currently right now with what he has done in the game so far in his young career. He's come out each and every week and put pressure on every single player because of his ball striking and because they know that there's no weaknesses in his game other than sometimes the putter but when you hit it as good as he does you're bound to make a putt now and again and each and every week when he shows up players on the driving range are looking at him going okay he's here i gotta have my a game certainly feels like sky's the limit for Colin Morikawa. Two major championships under his belt right now. Surely more in his future. Ooh. Like got the five wood. That's not good. Oh, that should find the bunker. Ended up and having a bad the timing result there. All right. You'll find I love my flop shot. So this would move me back a couple yards... Well, actually, eight yards, so I don't want to do that. So if I'm, let's see, if I'm here, I'll move back 24. Uh, that's not enough, so. So maybe we'll, we'll try that. And again, we'll have it try to stick. Ooh, probably should have looked at the lie in the sand there. Out of the bunker. Now let's go make it putt. A chance to save the par if you can make this one. Oh, moved over oh, too much. Darn. And this one will be for bogey. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? Yeah, this is going to put me back to even. So, not what I wanted, but... All right, Rich. Birdie chance here at the fourth. It can be, Luke, if your distance control is spot on. 
This is a two-tier green, and when the pin is all the way in the back left, it can be difficult to get it all the way back there. Well, that's where it is, the back left. Looks to be going with the five iron. Alright, that might There's be okay. Alright, well it stopped. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. And this part to move into the top five. Uh, oh, boy. I caught it, but not enough. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this part? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. Oh, come on, really? Up the hill. That looked good for a long time, didn't it? Wow, I really that thought that was hole. in. That means it's back -to -back bogeys oh, boy. They're making one bad mistake with another, compounding it. Not good. There's plenty of twists and turns around. Interesting. Cities, and the fifth is another one. Massive, massive fairway here at the fifth. So tee it high, let it fly. Second shot straight back up the hill to a green that's fairly flat with a little bit more movement in the back portion of it. It's a cool design. All right, a little bit better. That's the kind of general stroke that I end up with. All right, so I'm going to lose four yards. It's going to put me at 134. So let me go back that little bit, and then we'll do the spin, because that seems to be my thing, for getting things not to roll everywhere. The oh goodness! Looks well, like this is gonna miss got me play. on, but wow! I don't understand. Tie, really long. Ah, so close. So close. Looking good. All right. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Alright, so the one thing the game has, sometimes the pros are what I started calling too pro. He's doing well, um, he's, he's getting close, but he's not being crazy. You have to take an aggressive line down the right hand side, hitting it anywhere left into that bunker or otherwise is just a no-go zone. Out to the right-hand side, though, you get a clean look at this green. Water over on the left-hand side. The obvious place to miss your second is out to the right. All right. Eee. I kind of compensated for the terrible swing path with Nicely a done. little bit of fast and Risk somehow and straightened it out. Uh, but reinstated on tour with, here at TPC Twin Cities in Minnesota. Uh, it, it used to have some champions tour events being played here, but now the tour in general is here. And it, and it really is a great opportunity for any new player to sort of announce themselves to the world. It is. There's not a lot of history at this event, being at this venue at TPC Twin Cities. Uh, brand new about three years ago now, but it is an opportunity as the field isn't historically as strong as some of the other tour events for a young player, somebody new to the game, to get their first win and hopefully pl propel their career to greater heights. In saying that, though, uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis is such a golf rich town. I mean, the major championships at Hazeltine, especially the 2002 PGA Championship won by, yeah, moi. Of course, um, it's a great golfing city, Luke. I mean, it, it truly is outstanding. The fans come out, and they're just so into it. They're behind it. They love it. And the, the players, when we get here, you know that you're in for a fun week because everybody in this city really seems to get behind this tournament. <laughs> I love your walk down memory lane, Beamer. You're absolutely <laughs> entitled to it. Pop up coming up here. All right. Yeah, that description got kind of long. I figured I'll just go... A little bit more challenge than I expected there. A chance to be aggressive here, Rich, at the short par 4-7. 
There's really no reason to be because there's not much room up there and only the biggest hitters in the game could possibly get it on this green. Just lay it up with a long iron or a fairway metal that will leave a short second shot to a green that's flat and is just begging to be birdied. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened on that last hole. I really thought I had my distance gauged right when I was hitting out of the light rough after the second shot with my third one, but somehow it just went on that green. I mean, it hit way too far over the pin. I was thinking I would land right near the pin, so I don't know what I miscalculated there, but it was obviously something pretty significant. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. All right. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Oh, does he have a, the ability to drive this? So no. Okay. Great stuff. Uh, might be one club too many. Let's get back well, to it, shall we? Not a terrible shot, though. I mean, he's on. He's 15 yards away, maybe. All right. So this, with the lob wedge, it should not bounce much. It's going to lose a couple yards, though. So there's a danger. Oh, boy. And of course, there's a huge jump. All right. Because my concern is there's a danger it doesn't land on the green. So, let's see. We'll kind of do go in between. We won't put a huge stop roll on it, but a little bit. All right. Well, it's a good swing. Nice. I'll take that. All right. It's going to move a bit. Pretty straight. I think we're good. All right. That's good. All right. So back up with Colin. More importantly, back even with the card. This is a really cool design long par three. As you can see, the green is not very deep. It is wide, and there's lots of pin placements to use on this green. Probably my favorite hole on the golf course, Luke. All right, the one lined up with the bunker is not the pin placement I like. But this will either work or it will be ugly. Going with the four mm, right here. Can be a little further to the right. Wow, I am just overdriving everything. I don't understand this. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. A putt replacing the top ten. Move over. All right. All right. I do like it as well. Ooh, Colin, his first negative one. The ninth resembles the eighteenth of his Bay Hill Club and Lodge. This is fraught with danger everywhere. Out to the right, out of bounds, comes into play quickly. If you miss it over to the left, there's waste area that you want no part of. Find the fairway, and the second shot demands you keep it left of that water. Anywhere on the green on the left side is a fantastic play. All right, this one looks relatively basic. Ah, uh, not if I shank it like that. Goodness. Oh my gosh. I dropped 50 yards, that's for sure. Is getting ready for the big show now. They are Luca. I'd safe to say that this player is going to make it into the top 125, but each and every player wants something a little bit more than that. They want to make sure that they're in the top 70 and dearly would love to be in the top 30 going into that final week. So there still is work to be done for this player to move up the list, but so far so good in the top 125. Yeah, well, I'm sixth, so I'm in all the tops. Goal is obviously not to just completely collapse and have a big, big problem there. All right, I like that. 
Should be able. Ooh. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. I got very close. Alright. The ball tends to roll on the chips. So I'm always leery. This looks like because yeah, it's gonna kick over that way. Let's try this and see what we get. Nice. Well done. That nice. Takes off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. You better believe it is All right. stuff to watch. That's the front nine. Ooh, does he get a birdie? Nope. Cool. He's normal. I might have a shot at him here. But four rounds is a long time. There's nothing between them, is there? It's been entertaining so far. I'm interested to see how they attack the back nine and who, if either of them, comes out on top. Oh, wait. Why is it only doing the uh, three wood? I don't know why it wouldn't. I like to do the driver. I very rarely change. I get it thins up a bit, but oh, I'm still a little too much at that bunker. Ooh. That was wonderfully done. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Got great wow. connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. That is looking good. Let's return to live play now. Second shot here at the tenth. All right, so we got a little bit of a kick that way, so I'm going to have to counter it here. It should blow back a couple yards, maybe a yard and a half, because it, it is a kind of a little bit of a cross breeze. All right, I like that. Good sounding strike, that one. Nicely done. Absolutely flushed, that one. Colin Morikawa he was meant to be the original and best oh, no. approach player, but no. we have a new sheriff in town. Oh, come on. I was like, far. I'm going to move it, it's going to miss, and then, oh. The 11th, though, a sterner par 4, measuring 470 yards. Straight back uphill as well, Luke. You don't want to be in that fairway bunker on the right-hand side, so bail out just a little bit to the left. Second shot, straight back up the hill to a green that is very deep. All right, gotta get better at these. Ooh, a little bit of a cross swing, but looks like I was forgiven for that. Absolutely flushed. And he's down there, setting up here from about 185 yards. All right, so we're gonna lose three yards, so that's gonna, and then we're gonna push back a bit. So I'm going to hit this and we'll let it go. We'll see what happens. You know what? Uh, I just the way that green sits, I'm going to hit it over here because I think it's going to roll toward the hole there. Opting for the six side. All right, a little too this far over. Kick left and kick left hard. Hmm. Not this bad. Just inside the range. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a sheer of fourth on the Gosh, lead. Gosh, but it looks like the other side runs back. I don't want to go too far. Well, let's try that. Come on over. Ah. Oh. Okay. Steady now. An opportunity to make a par here. If this putt drops, they'll be All I'm doing is see if they can start treading water. Pressure. I don't like it. Uh, too far to the right. Darn it. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Sitting mm. at one under. Currently tied for seventh position. Alright, well, we'll make the best of it here. Oh boy. Well, we got over, but not a great well, well swing out. 
I would have been making three shots either way. So there is that, but this is still a long way. Oh boy, now I went the opposite way and hit it way too fast. This is kind of sadly my thing. I get a little bit nervous and then just start doing... Alright, so if I'm at 20, it's going to be, gosh, 14. So let me, let me do that. Let's see if that works. It'll probably be a little bit that way. Ah, that slow doesn't help, but that kind of worked out. Just stay online. All right. Unbelievable. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. All right, well, at least he can't, he can't pass me. All right, that's his first really incredible shot, so that's all right. It's the 13th, the par 3, measuring 216 yards. It's a tough one. It is. Elevated tee box, but an elevated green as well. Not a bunch of room in the front part of it. Obviously, more room as the green gets deeper, but the bunker on the right is an absolute no-go zone. It's very deep and very difficult to get up and down from. This is a tough pin placement again. All right, at least we got the swing back. Let's see if we can stay on the green. All right. Nicely done. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Oh boy. Okay, let's get a little bit of pressure show. there. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. He's paced it. He's read it. It's time. Little twenty-seven footer. Little birdie look in here. Uh, it should move a lot at the end. Not enough. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. All right, so He's now Colin's up place. there with us. When they stand on the tee at the par 4 14th, Rich, I'd imagine that fortune favors the brave. It does. I think that players, should they decide to take this tee shot on with a driver, want to go at the second fairway bunker as this fairway pitches severely from right to left. A driver will get you in there close enough to hit wedge for your second shot which turns a difficult hole into an easy hole. Uh, a little too far right again, maybe? No? All right. Nicely done. It's slowed down. Playing from around 150 yards here. Three shots off the lead. All right. So we're going to go... We're going to gain a yard. So I'm going to try that. Let's see. We'll pull this back again. Um, I'm going to go we'll compensate a little bit there. I like that building with the American flag on it. It's kind of a nice little visual. Oh, I just, I mean, I made it on a safe spot, but... Coming up a little short that was that effort. really Not bad. bad that was ugly. That was ugly. Let's be honest. Gonna slow it down a bit. Just gonna crank it a bit that way. All right, at the hole. Just three feet to the cup. It's half a chance All right. And no I just cannot suck hole. a birdie out of this course. Par four, but a strong one. Fairly simple and straightforward tee shot here as the fairway pitches in from both the right and left hand sides. So hitting the fairway shouldn't be much of a problem. From there, the second shot goes straight back up the hill to a green that's protected by bunkers on the left hand side. All right. Got four holes left here to try to do something. The 
Hmm. Oh, well struck. No, not really. Not really. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. All right, we're gonna get well a lot more distance than I would think. I'm gonna have to slow this down because yeah, I'm losing ten percent, but. Oh boy. Hmm. Miscalculated. Miscalculated. All the bounce and strength that they can muster. This is sitting down. Alright, well this is gonna go back about to forty. Which is gonna put it there. Well, that might not be too bad. So let's see. Alright. I'm going to try this. Let's see what we can turn this into. I think I hit the lip, honestly, as close as I was. It's a chance still to get up and down if they can hold a monster. Big power saver coming up for this fella. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Uh, it's going to stay way out there. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. All right, at least and I read that right. But now over to bad tee shot killed me. One stroke better than his rival and playing partner today. Oh, don't make this! Come on. What a shot! All right. Almost went in the bucket. Whew. So after that, he's still up on me, but. Like. Look who's stalking us all on top of the leaderboard. It's Tiger Woods. <laughs> And Rich, here we are at the 16th at TPC Twin Cities, and not a long hole, but there's plenty of trouble around. Water right, bunkers left, but let's face it, Luke, not a long hole, no need for the driver. There's always a need for the driver, sir. I like it. Mm-hmm. Sloped a little bit more to the water than I thought. Alright, so we're going to lose three. We're going to lose another three. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> Alright. I definitely just want it to stick. Uh, I've got to go this way to compensate for that. Going with the pitching wedge uh, here. The fast is going to pull it. Uh, to the rough for mine. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. A little bit. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. Let's see. Mm. Way more roll than I hoped That's for. Them, Henny. Setting up this putt 17 feet from the cut. Gotta try and save the par here. Oh, God, look at that terrible swing path. I'm surprised I even got that close. Holy moly. Just a short putt. Closes the workout on that hole. Two bogeys in a row. Never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. All right. So much for my... Cities rich, and there's water everywhere on this short par three. Water to the left, Luke. Bunkers out to the right. If you're going to find the green, you better be brave. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Uh, a little too far to the right. But well, what a wonderful shot we're it on. It sets up another putt inside birdie range. Colin Morikawa setting up his shot. Oh, wow. Well, I did better than he did. All right. Well, if I can pull a birdie off here, I can gain something. I'm going to move this a bit. Pretty straight. Oh, my. Oh, my. On top of the leaderboard. Well, Rich, this finishing hole at TPC Twin Cities really sets up for a dramatic finish, doesn't it? Risk versus reward. 583 yards. If you hit a big drive, you can take on the green in two.
All right, that should be good. All right, 300 yards. This shot here from about 240 yards. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can do this. I'm not. Oh boy. Well, in theory I can. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Do I try it? Well, this will determine the round for sure. Make sure it's flat. It is. All right. As good a shot as I'm going to get, we will land. That's a good thing. So I kind of didn't speed that up because I just was a little nervous, needed some time to breathe. Well, this is nice. Maybe. No, it's too fast now. Well, that's a tremendous well, shot. It it's stayed on, on though. All right. I absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Could we get lucky and get an eagle? The all top ten. That would be great. Tracking. Come on, oh. Always love these opportunities. All right. Well, a bird is still good. Round Even box. round. Good luck next time. Not ter not well, terrible, not good great. We're tied with our rival even. Yeah, and which one was good, the Jekyll or the Hyde? I can never tell, but I tell you what, I think Mr. Jekyll's in the front and Mr. Hyde was on the back, because that's what it looked like. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard working right. folks at 2K Sports. Another fitting, that's what we in. keep wanting. See you next time. Because, yeah, what I want us to do is be able to trade up. Obviously, the better quality fitting I get, the better. Because then I'm closer. Because you have to take three to get one of the next highest level. So that base fitting, or common fitting, I think, as they're called. You know, I'm, I think I'm five steps away. So I ultimately need 15 of those to turn it into one legendary fitting over time. That's 15 rounds of golf, you know, 15 rounds of golf. That's almost four events playing all four rounds. All right. So could have certainly been better. Try to get the uh, jitters moved out. Um, I'm definitely liking the fact that I seem to at least be dialing in a little bit of consistency on the Pro-Am difficulty here. Not anywhere near the point where I'm like, ooh, let's step up to pro um, I'm starting to think I might f really be at the point, yeah, I'm going to finish out the season at this difficulty. Uh, but then again, I started out the PGA Tour thinking, uh, you know, once I switch to amateur, I'm like, yeah, I'll just do that. And then obviously started really kind of rocking it pretty well and felt I could take another step up. But we're getting really close to the end here, so I'm thinking... It's probably realistic that we're going to end up on the Pro-Am and Season 2 will get at it again and see if we can step up and, and get better. But thanks for following along. I will see you next time.